No weapon. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Eliana. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Very, very fine and happy. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Today is my daddy's birthday. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Did you prepare anything special for him? Actually, uh, we went, uh, we, took, we took him to dinner. Yeah. Uh, and we came around 25 minutes ago. Okay, where did you take him? Uh, Reeves. Oh, nice. Yeah, my dad loved Reeves. That's cool. Yeah. And well, before, before after that, uh, we, I don't know how to say, partimos el pastel. We cut the cake. We? Cut. Cut, ah, okay, we cut the cake and sing him happy birthday. And yeah, I said, it was, it was like, okay, daddy, I love you, happy birthday. I have my English class. Oh, so I'm wow. here. Yeah, well, so sorry. No, no, no. It's but okay. you have time and you enjoy it with him. That's yeah, important. absolutely. And how is our day? My day, Ooh, well, my day was, uh, you know, my problem is that I've been doing not so good from my gastritis, so it's, it's been giving me problems all day long. Well, actually since last night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to go to the doctor because when I do that, they get me in like for three, four days. Uh, well, the thing is this, that uh, last time I had a crisis was like four years ago. I had about a year, that year they put me in three times. Really? And I, yeah, and I, but I've been stable. I mean, the last years, I don't know, I guess. I've been eating too much spicy food and stuff like that. Mm. You know, spicy food is delicious. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. The things that are not so good for your body are the ones that are delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like uh, you said, you like tacos. I love tacos. Ah, uh, love, 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 love tacos. Yeah, but the problem is that I like them with hot sauce. Me too. I mean, otherwise, it's not good. For me, it's not good. got to be like that. Well, uh, at least at least you didn't say like somebody from the group, you know, they sent me a, they sent me something that they said that they liked, but man, it's terrible, horrible. What is? Oh, one of your classmates told me that they love pupusas. You don't like pupusas. No. <gasps> that's oh why he is looking at me like this she said she tells what? me that she loves really well, her family is the only one that everybody <laughs> likes i don't not my thing why why don't oh i mean i can eat them but it's not something that i like that i would say hey let's go eat let's go have some proposals it's like for me it's like oh well anyway uh. yeah. I don't well, know. Not, not really my thing, but I love, uh, well, when it comes to Mexican food, I like it, actually. The only bad thing about tacos is that I need to have a lot of them. Yeah, a taquiza. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, in order to get, like, stuff. It's like yeah. when I go eat pizza, I like uh, five, six slices of pizza for me. What? Plus garlic bread, plus oh my God. Uh, half a liter or one liter of, of beer. And then I'm like, cool. <laughs> I love pizza. More than tacos, more than Mexican food. 
Mm. Perhaps not more than, but it's just that it's something that I eat more regularly. I mean, it's easy. I mean, we just order some pizzas, yeah. get them home. And I mean, uh, we are three in my house. We order for two big pizzas for the three of us, and that's it. And and tacos, I mean, I need to go out and, you know, sometimes, uh, I mean, I'm working at night, so it's complex, the logistics. Mm, well, I mean, you enjoy it. I enjoy going, going for tacos and staying there and taking my time, you know, talking. I mean, yeah. That's the idea, not like when you go, you take somebody to eat ribs and then you say, let's go, I got a class, you know. <laughs> So, how old is your dad? Uh, 56. Oh, he's young. Yeah. That's nice. That's 56. nice. That's nice. I'm glad that you enjoyed your day. Oh, yeah. You have a special moment. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah, I really think that I have a good relation. Relationship. Yeah, relationship with my dad. So we are very close. That's nice. It's always good. Yeah. So I really enjoy. And and he enjoyed the day and the surprise and, and the moment with the family, with my siblings. It was it was fun. A very nice moment. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, it's always good whenever you can share with your relatives and, and if it is a special situation like this one, I mean, those are the moments that you really treasure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Indiana, nice. Thank you for being here and thank you for sharing with us. Welcome. Okay, thank you. Hello, Heidi. Good evening, teacher. And to who says Heidi? Come on. Tell me second best. Your microphone. Oops. My second best is seafood. Okay, that now we are talking. Yeah. But I want to explain, I was trying to explain that pupusas is what we all agree. Because so you, uh, your family my daughter co wants to commit with pupusas. Yeah, because, because oh, for example, I'm Jackie sorry. wants to cook pizza, Fernando wants to hamburgers, and I would like seafood all the time, but something we all agree is pupusas, just okay. because of that. <laughs> yeah, it's not commits, it's uh, you compromise on pupusas. <laughs> No, that's cool. I mean, there's something that all of you like and enjoy. That's great. Now in my house, you know, I read a lot. Like, we like pork. And whenever one of them say pork, we are like, cool. We like pizza, cool. Hamburgers, cool. Italian, great. And mm. like... I don't know, next week, perhaps we are going to go German. Cool, I mean, in our case it's food. Really, German food? Well, they wanna what try kind? it. They wanna try it. Mm. Mm. I like Italian food too. <clears throat> me but... too, me too. The problem with Italian food is that the one that I like is very expensive. <laughs> Italian, I mean, they, they, well, the best for me is um, pomodoros. Oh, really? And I don't I like, like it. it. I love it. I love it. Hmm. I love it. My favorite place is Bode Italiana, you know, because yeah, of know. maybe the environment, you can listen to music. It's very nice. You yeah, know, in our case, I mean, the first for us is Pomodoros, then, I don't know. Then we go like, uh, whatever, like uh, there's one place going to the 
cook it on. I always forget the name. And we also go to Fuchitoto. There's a restaurant, they prepare Italian food. It's not the specialty, but they prepare Italian food and it's cool. We also like it. And well, they love Fuchitoto, I don't. But I like the food. I've never been to Suchitoto. Mm, really? Mm -hmm. Not that I remember. It, it's an old town, an old and expensive town. Really? Yeah. A lot of tourism. Lots, lots of tourists. So, I mean, that, you know, that makes the prices to go high. But it's, I mean, it's cool. I, I just, I mean, what I don't like, to be honest with you, is the weather. It's hot. Mm. It's a little bit hot. But, uh, I mean, it's cool. People like to go walking. It's pretty is it safe. Like, is it like Wayua? Something similar? Or perhaps? Wayua is too small, I think. And I don't know. It's... It's just that for you, it's hilly. I mean, you go up, you go down, but you are never flat. Mm -hmm. Suchitoto is, is a little bit bigger and it's an old town, pretty old town, old houses. They, they keep it like that, stone paved roads. And the church, well, the church at night is cool, beautiful. And mm -hmm. you like the... the, the, the if you like the art, it's nice. But um, food, I go for food. You know, it's just that old town, stuff like that. I take my family there, but for me, it's the beach. Going to the beach, I'm cool. There's a swimming pool, I'm fine. <laughs> for me, it's get me a swimming pool, a cocktail, and I'm happy. Me too. I prefer to go to the beach a thousand times than going to a mountain. Yeah. You know, the other day, they, last time I remember, they took me camping. Uh, and they decided, like, hey, let's go for a walk. There's a, this beautiful place. And I was like, don't worry. You go. I'll take <laughs> care of the camp. So I stayed there. I, put, I got in a hammock, and I stayed there the whole morning. But... That thing of go exploring, you know, walking, uh, uh, not my thing. Not my thing. No. Neither. Not, not my thing either or neither. Neither, right? Neither. No, not my thing either. Neither. Mm -hmm. Either, either. If either. you say it at the end, yeah. If you say it at okay. the end, either. Either. Hmm. So, not my thing either. I don't like to. <laughs> Listen, me neither. I don't, I don't like. You know, the last time. Uh, I, we climbed Santa Ana's volcano with my husband and thanks, a friend but no of thanks. But thanks, but no thanks. I did it and it was cool, but I won't do it again. No, no, I mean, that's not for me. I won't <laughs> go there. It's, you know, I can walk. Actually, I can walk and I, I'm used to work. If it's for job, if you gotta pay me, I do it. But for free, me paying for that? No way, Jose. <laughs> you know, when, when we came down, every single hair hurts. Oh, it was so terrible. <laughs> Seems and, I'm not used to exercise so often. Mm. Yeah, you were you were trying to find which nail didn't hurt. <laughs> it was terrible. The yeah. view is amazing, but it's worth it. I will do it again. Definitely. Uh, I Not understand mine. you. I understand you. I mean, I like I like this, the views. Whatever you can get on your car. You park the car, you watch the view. Beautiful. Let's go. That's for me. For me, it's, let's go look for a restaurant. I want to eat. Simple. And then for me, it's, let's go to the beach. Fine. But I'm not like, I'm like, for me, it's resting and walking on the beach. Uh -uh. I mean, I like, I like going to the beach, but 
exactly to the beach early in the morning, uh, a little bit late in the afternoon. Around four, I can go watch, sit, grab a book, enjoy it like that. That's fun. I love it. And then I prefer for swimming, I prefer the swimming pool. Me too. So swimming in the ocean, man, a lot of sand. You end up all beat up. Me it's too. fun. It's fun for a while, but I mean, the thing is this, when I was young, I used to do it. I used to go stay there like four or five days on a row. But now, you know, that happens when we get old, we get cranky. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I guess, I guess in my case, my problem is the issues. Well, <laughs> nice talking to you, Heidi. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Jose Wilfredo, tell me, what's the scene? That you don't like swimming in the ocean. <laughs> oh, I like it. Early in the morning, late in the afternoon. Okay. That's cool. That's, that's when I like it. Oh, okay. But the, the rest of the day, man, where's the swimming pool and where's the umbrella? That thing gets <laughs> hot. Umbrella and sit. Yeah. I mean, One I shirt get a hammock. Yeah, I mean, I get a, I get a machete, I get a hammock, sunglasses, a lot of uh, 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 sunblock, and that's cool. That's okay. One day, two days is fine. More than two days, uh, uh, more two than days two days. No, no, more than two days. No, no more for me. I mean. <laughs> It's just that uh, the problem is but this. I, guess... I, I can enjoy it. I can enjoy it. Yeah. Because, I mean, if I am in a hammock, as I told you, in the shade, uh, I don't know, drinking a lot of liquids, that's mandatory. Otherwise, yeah. you dehydrate. And I got, a, I got myself a couple of books to read. I'm fine. I'm cool. But you usually go with your family and your family they get like let's go here let's do this let's do that and i'm like oh man i mean the thing is that for me vacation is resting <laughs> so uh well you know i work as crazy and sometimes i work from sunday to sunday i mean and that's for me that's normal but if i get like two, three days off for me is resting completely. Let's not do nothing for one or two days on a row, nor doing anything at all. And how because many days have you spent the most of the beach? Once I went uh, uh, to El Tumpo, I arrived December the 23rd and I came back January the 6th. Well, you got a lot of days to <laughs> there i used to spend four weeks there nice yeah i mean i have spent a lot of time you know at that time i was young dumb <laughs> and i used to go i used to go visit my my cousins i mean we used to party party a lot for real it was a cool party. stage yeah, I mean, at that time it was fun, but yeah. right now, I mean, I gotta take life more seriously. I uh -huh. cannot, I cannot, your lifestyle change. Yeah, of course, of course, I had to become more responsible. Yeah, I mean, at that time, nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes I, I remember once I was working and I decided to go, I didn't even pass by my house, I just arrived. To my mm. cousin's like hey what's up here i am my cousin was like okay here are some shorts some shirts and uh, these are these sandals are for you and let's go have fun yeah and i and i let my mom know uh, two days after <laughs> she found two out days that, after I was, that you are right at the beach yeah she found out that i was at the beach two days after 
So, I mean, as I told you, I was young, responsible a lot, but now change, life changed. I mean, you, you get responsibilities, uh, yeah. you got stuff to do. Yeah, I mean, now you even worry about your pets. Yeah, I remember those days that my mother uh, told to me, hey, this is an a hotel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Here's your house. Yeah, you know, in my house, the only thing that I needed to do was to let my mom know if I was going to arrive at night after 12 or not. Because at, at midnight, exactly, they used to turn lights off. So if uh -huh. I was going to arrive, they used to leave some lights on. Yeah. Because I used to arrive at 2, 3 a.m. in the morning on yeah. a regular basis, like uh, every day. <laughs> and I used to go every to day. work around, yeah, I used to go to work around 7. I mean, yeah. I was careless at that time. Sometimes I... I used to pass by like, hey mom, I'm just gonna get some clothes. I'm coming like in two, three days. Bye. Yeah. But later. now, yeah, now you know the situation changed a little bit. Yeah, I know. First, you have to ask your wife. And remember, at uh, that time, I mean, uh, what I'm talking about the nineties. Yeah. In the 90s, I mean, you know, when I used to go to El Tunco, uh, in order to call my mom, I need I needed to ride on a bicycle to a Mahawal in order to make <laughs> a phone call. To one public home uh, phone. Yeah. I used to ride on a bicycle all the way there <laughs> in order to call my mom. Hey, mama, I'm here. Everything's cool. Then go back. <laughs> So back in the day, things were a little bit different. Yeah. Hey, you know, it's fun. And the other day I was remembering when I was, uh, even when I was in, at the university, when I started, I remember we used to go party sometimes with some friends. We were so well known at some establishments that mm. whenever was the time for me to call my, my, my wife, my girlfriend at the time, to let her, to find out if she was home already. I mean, the guy, the owner of the establishment used to turn off the music so I could make my phone call. <laughs> really? Yeah, as I told you, I, I mean, when I was young, I used to party a lot. Yes, teacher, yeah. So, that has to be like mandatory. Yeah, if my son does that thing one day, I kill him. <laughs> he's not allowed to at all really yeah no way uh, but those memories are a goal well the thing is this uh, he's uh, the complete opposite he's calm he's relaxed and he doesn't go out I mean he goes out with his friends once a month to the movies. He's always in, he always keeps in contact. He's a very responsible teenager. I mean, he's 19 already, and but mm. he's very responsible. And he doesn't smoke. He doesn't drink. He's so boring. But what can we do? It was so yeah. really nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Well. Ana Claudia, hello. Ana Claudia used to party a lot, I know. She looks, <laughs> she's got the type. What? <laughs> Ana Claudia was like, what? <laughs> hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Uh, listening to your conversation that, as always, you say you don't like the traditional Salvadorian food. I don't know no, why. No, no. <laughs> but, nice. yeah. I'm not from here, that's the thing. That, exactly, <laughs> I guess that is the, the reason why. Yeah, I'm a foreigner. <laughs> uh -huh. So, what's up? No, for me, uh, I just sent you, I didn't re remember that you request for us to send our favorite food, but I just 
Grody right there. And I like to do, I love to, to make the tortillas made from melted cheese and then eat them with the uh, pork rinds. Es así como se dice chicharrón? Yeah. Ah, okay. Pork rinds. Like tacos. Oh, it's yeah. really dish. Hmm. Okay. And what else, what's your favorite place to visit? To have them? My favorite place to visit? My, my bad bitch. <laughs> I love no. to sleep. <laughs> no, no, what I mean. To eat that food that is your favorite. Oh, to visit. I heard. I'm sorry. Let me let me just come out the bathroom here. My favorite place. No, I made them for me. Nobody oh, really? made those because th those are like part of a recipes known for a, like keto diet. So they are so healthy because you eat a lot of uh, pork, a lot of, I don't know if the word is grassy, no. Uh, healthy, you said healthy food? No, no, that's, that's right. Have that's been demonstrated. Good. Have been demonstrated that pork. Eh, ay, ¿cómo se dice manteca? When you don't combine fat, it, no, fat, okay. when you don't fat. combine it with, uh, for example, flour or any other thing, you just eat it and you give to your body that butter or that grease and that type of uh, milk it reacts different and I did it uh, like one year ago I did it and I was it, it was a type kind of diet I uh, uh, let me see uh, I lost weight I lost weight doing that it's so hard it's a little complicated the, the only thing I still keep is that I don't uh, use sugar nothing of sugar in my food. I learned to drink coffee or any other thing without sugar. They're delicious. Yeah, yeah me neither. I don't like, I don't like sugar. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can take, but just, just a little bit. Oh, really? No, I don't. I don't use uh, sugar. But, and I like it. But mm -hmm. like with my coffee, uh-uh. Uh, I'm, I'm drinking coffee right now with the sugar. It's so delicious. It's the best way you can taste a, co a cup of coffee. Yeah, I mean, for me, coffee with sugar is, oh, that's not good. I mean, that's a sin. With no sugar or with sugar? With sugar. With sugar. That's terrible. I mean, that's something that I cannot drink. Oh, so you drink it without like, sugar? Yeah, sure. I'm too sweet already. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, why, why would I need sugar on my coffee? No, actually, I love, I enjoy the, 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 the smell and the taste. And you know what? The thing is this, that when you're drinking, when you're having your coffee with sugar, after a long while drinking it without, you can smell the sugar. Mm. You realize, you can smell when, when a cup of coffee's got sugar and and in my case, I don't like it at all. Mm, okay. Yeah, and the same happens with uh, refreshments, juice. I mean, uh -huh. if they add sugar to something. Uh, uh, exactly. I, don't like it. I think the same. I love juices, natural juices, orange, whatever, without sugar. Just immediately they are um, prepared, I drink them. Yeah, I don't. I don't usually drink. Uh, to be honest with you, in my case, for food, I rather have uh, plain water instead of instead of juice. Mm, oh, okay. Yeah. Most of the time, I just drink water too. Yeah. Oh, with water and coffee. For me, it's water and coffee. Yeah. For me, coffee must be like uh, after lunch is delicious. Oh, me right too. Right after lunch. Also after, in the breakfast, after lunch, and at night, like right now, I always drink three cups of coffee. Oh, yeah, me too. But the problem is that right now they got me, you know, 
I am not allowed to drink coffee. Tonight. Oh, because of your digestive problems? Yeah, because of my stomach. I already, ah. I, I was telling them, hey, can I have a cup of coffee? And they were like, uh, -uh not for you. And tea? The, what about the black tea? That is delicious too. It's like a substitute. I need caffeine directly. <laughs> the black tea is delicious too. I love I it. Like, I like I like tea. I like black tea. I like mint tea. Mm, you know? yeah, yes, but that helped you a lot. In your case, with your stomach situation, yes. So, provides benefits. It's delicious. Yeah, I love mint tea with honey. You know, that that's the only beverage that I that I like with honey, that I like with uh, sweet. Tea. Oh, really? Yeah, I enjoy oh, it. I oh drink them. Gosh. I don't need I, honey too. No, no. I'm so sorry. I need to take the attendance. <laughs> My gosh, it's so late. Sorry, guys. Ada Susana Casares Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Naftali Mendez Torres. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorco. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Belman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ah, okay. Ramón Enrique Present. Escobar. Okay. Thank you. Present teacher. Frank. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Thank you, Francisco. Got you. Okay, guys, well, thank you, Stephanie. No, actually, we couldn't hear you. Okay, guys, now, we usually talk about that. Uh, we've been talking, like, for a long while about what we like, what we enjoy. I mean, we, you had your homework. You were telling me about the food that you like, and you explained to me why you like it. Now, we are going to do exactly the opposite. You are going to talk about something that you really, really don't like. And you are going to explain why. In this case, I'm going to get you in groups of three members. You will have exactly eight minutes for the activity. I recommend you take notes because you are going to report what is it that your classmate doesn't like and why. And I need you to use reported speech, okay? Like he told me that, he explained that, okay? You will be using those expressions. I need you to use that grammar point. Am I clear with the activity? Okay. Yeah, let's see, groups are created. And let me see. Mm -hmm. Please jump in eight minutes from now.
Pero no ah, Hígado encebollado, ya le digo. ¡Ay, es delicioso! Oh, delicioso. ¡Ay, es delicioso! ¡Ay, es delicioso! ¡Ay, es delicioso! ¡Ay, es Liver. Okay. Onions. Okay. I, I'm not sure what I is mean, the reason, but I hate liver with onions. Even I, had you been trying with lemon, maybe? No, but uh, I taste when I was pregnant. And oh, you dislike yeah. it. Yes. A lot. I can't smell. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, the yeah. problem was the problem was you getting pregnant. I'm not sure. Well, I, I remember. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I taste, but in the past I was smell. In the and past, I you could like... you could stand the smell. Yes. Before your pregnancy, did you eat uh, no. liver? No, I can't. I can't. So you never eat liver? No. Uh, no. You uh, never eat them? Well, no. It, I, she she I just never... tried it once. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I just taste once. And the other thing that I never uh, eat, again, Es uh, menudos, how do you say menudos? Oh, they're delicious. No, I, 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 <laughs> so... my mom loves menu, no sé cómo se dice menudo. You don't like la sweet meat? No. Oh, sweet meat is delicious. Mm -mm. How do it's you say this at the word? Sweet meat is mollejas. Ah. Pero en general, menudos. I have never heard one term for prefer for all of them. Menudo. Eternal parts of a hen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I dislike it. My mom loves that dish, but I can smell. Oh, you could, you should see my, 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 my niece, my little niece. She likes something that almost nobody likes. <laughs> and no, and she enjoys it. Uh, 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 chicken's feet. I love it too. With chicken's feet. Las patas es lo que estás diciendo. Yeah. Es, colaje, es colágeno puro, sabe usted. Whatever. I take, on, I take it on pills. Easy. No, es, es But colágeno. But I won't need that thing. No way. No way. No way. I love them. <laughs> Chicken feet. ¿Cómo sería? Chicken feet. Chicken no, feet. Ancas de rana. Oh, oh frogs. Frogs legs. Ah, frog legs. Oh, but that's cool. I like it. No. I, I mean, I try, I try it and I try it and it was okay for me. I never taste that dish. And okay, I, you have not tried it, can you say that? No, like I prefer another thing. Eh, teacher, the last time I taste, um, ¿qué le dije lo de México? Ay, se me olvidó. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw it. Uh, you showed me. Chapulines? Yeah, chapulines. They're nice, crunchy. Yeah, it's the unique. Did you, eat, did you eat them? Son como, yeah. las, como las hormigas. No, son no, hormigas. It's, it's like if you're eating an enrollado. Uh -huh. I mean, wow. they, they taste almost like the same. Mm -mm. <laughs> nah. But for me, it's a weird dish. Now, you know what's weird? Once I, once I eat uh, bulls, bulls testicles, that's weird. Oh, my dad used to eat that. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I've eaten that. But it's better if you eat them raw and still warm. When they just cook them. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's nice. Yeah. You just they That's just cook them, with... give them to you, you just cut a little bit, put some lemon salt, and you eat them raw. Nice. And I don't understand what is the reason that the Judas do uh, hate pupusas, but enjoy another weird dish. No, it's just that, I don't know. The problem, uh, I can eat them. I like rice, but when they prepare them like almost fried with okay. a lot of oil, okay. that way I like them. But like corn, corn pupusas, no, never. I can pass the, the rice ones, but corn, uh -huh. It's unacceptable for me. Mm. And do you like sure, yeah. a turtle eggs? Uh, oh, turtle delicious. eggs? I never try it. Delicious. Never try it? <laughs> With I, wa I, wa I washed it. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> and, <laughs> and just did just, <laughs> just lemon. And, and salt. Yeah, just lemon and salt. Nice. What is the flavor of the turtle eggs? They feel like sandy, you know? Uh. Actually, I have eaten them uh, right coming right out of the turtles. <laughs> uh, once we went uh, with some friends to collect them, and you get them right when they are coming out of turtles, and and you try them like that warm, they are nice. Really? Yeah. I like them better than, than, than how do you say this? Uh, oysters. Oh, really? I like, I like oysters, but I like, uh, I mean, if you get me to choose to pick between oysters and turtle eggs, I would rather have turtle eggs. The problem is that nowadays, really, you are not supposed to be eating turtle eggs. I guess that the turtle eggs are so similar to oysters. No. 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 I oysters? never tried it either. I mean, you have never tried oysters? No. I mean, oysters, uh, I don't know, they are acceptable. Uh, I mean, I understand why some guys love them, but I mean, for me, they are like, eh, it's okay. Nothing that special. I would I will rather enjoy a, a, a Chell's cocktail. Man, that's delicious. Yes. Instead of having oysters. Oysters. Ostras. Ah, um, okay. The flavor is similar of the shells, right? Mm, yeah, a little bit. But with a shell, I mean, you, you add some sauce and hot sauce. And you put lemon, a little bit of salt, and you mix it up well. You enjoy it. Yes. It's like, uh, I like, uh, uh, man, I just forgot how you say that. Caracoles. I'm sorry, I've forgotten that word. But there is one one special type of them. They are big, they big foot. It's nice. I like it's it. Snails. Caracoles. Sea snails. Uh -huh. Yeah, snails. Yeah, I like them. Well, there's a type of river snail that is cool. It says it's Taste different? Very similar to chels. Mm, well, I don't like shells. You don't like shells? No. Uh, and I was going to invite you. Well, you lost. <laughs> yeah, like, well, with seafood, just uh, shrimps. 
en salsa rosada, pink sauce. sauce. Yeah. Yeah. And fish, just that. Shark? No. Oh, it's food. Mm. It's food, it's delicious. But the question in this case is something that you don't like at all. What is it that you don't like at all? Mm, I don't like at all. Flor de isote. Mm. You just broke my heart. Flor de isote, and I was telling the guys that I don't like eh, eh, fresco de carao. Um, almost nobody likes that thing. That thing is hideous. Yeah, just the smell. The smell is like. Yeah, yeah. It reminds me of. It reminds me of one cousin of mine. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> so yeah, that's the two things that I really don't like: flor de sote and fresco de carao. Yeah, I agree with you with the fresco de carao, but man, flor de sote is delicious. <laughs> I like bitter taste, like uh, with papayas, I love it. With lemon, flor de sote with lemon. I like it more with uh, on with eggs. Oh, really? You know, with fried eggs, yeah. I never tried it like that, but... And what about you, Jose Wilfredo? What is it that you don't like? The nervous tree. The, when what? the... The nerve? They make... Uh, Papa de patas. Feet soup. Uh, Feet soup. Yeah. soup. <laughs> <We> can... <laughs> In English, sound very funny. Yeah. Feet yeah. soup. soup. Well, yeah. yeah. I don't I like, don't like the beef, nervous. Beef soup. I hate it. But I can uh, drink. Beef uh, soup is delicious. I can yes. drink. Uh, I can drink feet soup, but just the, the soup and the vegetables. Uh. Yeah, ah. that's what I that's what I eat. Well, that's what I drink and eat when in my house they make a, a fit soup, just the water and, and vegetables. Man, when they when here they decide to make them, the problem is that my in laws they live close. Man, they grab a big pot. I mean, they make like for the whole neighborhood. <laughs> I mean, I like it. Believe me, last time they decided like, hey, let's prepare fits when I was like, cool. And, and they told me, hey, we're gonna buy the stuff. And I was like, okay, cool, no problem. I I gave the money, but man, when I started seeing people started, they told me, hey, take the car out and set the tables. And I was like, what, why? People started coming and coming, I mean, there was a big family gathering just for the soup. And I was like, man, how many cows did you kill? <laughs> they love it. With lemon. Delicious. Yeah, but, I, but I like just the soup. The soup just the soup. Yeah, me too. What about you, no. Amber? Tell me something that you don't like. I don't like sushi, teacher. You don't That's a sin. That's just really sin. Mm. <laughs> because the flavor is disgusting. I don't know. I I don't like the seaweed is algas marina, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the seaweed. I I remember I tried the sushi one time, but <laughs> I, I I hate the sushi. Uh, you know, I have eaten sushi many times in my life. It's uh, it's acceptable. I mean, nothing special for me, but it's okay. I mean, I eat it. It's cool. You give it to me. For me, it's like okay, fine. Some people cool. love yeah. the sushi, yeah. right? Yeah, and actually, you know, I remember, I remember having a a, a Japanese friend who cook, cook that uh, and she prepared at home and it was cool. I have tried weird things. I have another friend and from, she was from Thailand. They eat weird stuff. Believe me, 
Sushi is delicious compared with some of the stuff I try every day. Stuff like like that. Like Maybe what? I should try like, it uh, in another place, right? Yeah, perhaps. Like uh, for them, a delicatessen, Eliana, it's uh, eggs that for us are like, imagine eating an egg when the little when the little chicken is already formed. What? Yeah. That's a delicatessen. And I was like, and, and she told me, look, if my daddy invites you, tell him no, cause you won't like it. <laughs> so, and I was like, okay. And then she explained to me and I was like, no, 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 I won't appear that day. I mean, I'm not visiting that day I get sick or whatever, but I'm not gonna go over. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, remember some things are culture. Like I was just talking yeah. with uh, Roxana uh, in the other group. Uh, like, when was it? Was it the last month? She went to Mexico for on vacation and she was eating uh, grasshoppers. What? Grasshoppers. Uh, Chapulines, ah, ah. things fried. And she told me that she tried them, but she didn't like them. Mm. And for those are and good, me, but when you have something to drink, yes, yeah, something cold and green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are nice. A little bit spicy, but cool. I like them. They're crunchy. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah, the same as ants, you know. Some popo, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, with the balls like this. Yeah, they're cool. I mean, you gotta try something at least once in your life. Okay, guys, let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. Let's see, let's see, everybody's coming back. We're just waiting for everybody to be back so we can move on with the activity and everybody's coming back right now. Okay, I'm gonna ask a couple of people, let's see. Uh, uh, um. Marcos, tell me about your group. What do they don't like? What is it that they don't like? Okay, teacher. Um, <clears throat> for example, Ramon told me he doesn't like liver with onions. Ah, delicious. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, um, I was to with um, Francisco, I think, no? Yep, Francisco was your partner. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, then Francisco told me he doesn't like, um, I don't know how to say, um, relleno de papa. What? No, relleno de papa. No, oh, really? Oh, that's like, mm. yeah. And okay. I told and I and I told him that it was uh, what I just eating for dinner. Oh, really? <laughs> you were just yeah. having that for dinner? That's cool. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, I'm like okay. Perfect. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Heidi, tell me about Maria Alejandra and Nicolás. What do they don't like? What is it that they don't like? Hmm. 
Your microphone, sorry. Sorry, teacher. Uh, Nicolas shared that he doesn't like pitos because of its flavor. Really? Yeah, I love pitos and he doesn't like pitos. Interesting. Uh, and Maria Alejandra doesn't like pacaya, uh, neither flor de isote or such as uh, or spicy food. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what, Maria Alejandra, I'm not inviting you for lunch. <laughs> Those are the things that I like. And the flor de sote, lo pacaya, and I enjoy spicy food. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Okay. And what about you? I don't like uh, this kind of fish, salty fish. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, the salty fish with air, I, I don't like it. I cannot stand it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something that I don't like. I don't think neither, you. neither pacayas, neither pacayas. Oh, maybe. I no. told Liliana just a second ago. You How do you call this heart. flavor? How do you call this flavor? Amargo? Bitter. Bitter? Bitter. How do you spell it? B I T T E R. Mm, bitter, like bitter. Yeah, Victor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Now let's see. Roxana, tell me about your group. Well, my partners was Anna Claudia and Jacqueline. Anna Claudia told us that she doesn't like uh, prolex, prolex, legs, prolex. And Lovely. she has okay. never tasted it. Okay, then she doesn't know that she doesn't like it. Okay, no sé, I don't know. <laughs> okay, continue, please. And Jacqueline told us that she doesn't like iguana. How do you say iguana? Mm, I don't know, but iguana is good. Iguana and shells. She loves okay. uh, seafood, but not shells. Okay. Excellent. Thank and you. My case, what about you? Uh, no, yeah, no. What about you? <laughs> well, in my case, uh, I don't like liver with onions and frog legs, too. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Ada, okay. tell me, Ada. Tell me about your group. And my group is Rebecca and Susana. Okay. And Susana told me uh, visceros, visceros. Okay. And Rebecca, uh, any kind of salt for the consistency. Okay. Anytime. Uh, in, my, uh -huh. in my case, teacher, um, seafoods. Um, you don't like seafood. I am allergic. Oh, before. yes. So and, sorry to hear that. Oh, and the uh, for the apples. Oh, really? Sushi? You don't like sushi? Oh, Ooh. interesting. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent, Ada. Okay, Jose Wilfredo, tell me about. Ambar and Ileana, tell me first about Ambar. What is it that she doesn't like? Okay, Ambar told us that she didn't like sushi too, because the taste is disgusting for her. Okay. Uh, because she said that one, one time she tried, but she don't like the, she, doesn't. she doesn't like the the um you don't remember ask her please she, what is it she, she will oh okay. she will. Uh -huh, the she will then okay. ah, Eliana yeah okay. Eliana told us that she didn't like the flor de sote because it's bitter okay and, and you she didn't like the caca, the carao uh, water. I like the I like the flor de sote. 
Okay. So what is it that you don't like, Jose Wilfredo? Uh, maybe the nervous. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. the nervous, yeah. Beef. Uh, the, Beef the nervous nerves. that is on on fit soup. Yeah. Yeah, no, I understand. That one. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Frank, tell me about your group. Okay, well, Stephanie told us that she doesn't extremely, she doesn't like seafood uh -huh. at all. She doesn't like the taste and the, and the smell. And strangely, and strangely, she doesn't like cheesecake too. That's something weird for me, but she doesn't like cheesecake. <laughs> okay. And, and Jose told us that he doesn't like uh, pacayas too, as the other uh, teammates and also cauliflower and eggplant if is overcooked but eggplant. if is yes but if is uh, like al dente i don't know how to say yeah yeah al dente. it's a term but if is al dente is okay for him mm. i mean she she can eat it. Okay. He can yeah, he, he can eat it. Sorry. What about you? Uh, almost the same as Jose. I don't like uh, cauliflower and eggplant overcooked, and I hate papaya. <laughs> and I hate the papaya. What? Popo? Papaya. You papaya. Don't like popo. Popo. Oh, okay. Sorry. You say it like that. Yeah, popo. Popo. Yeah. You know, oh, you I love Popo. It, sorry. I don't know. P A P A W. P A Popo. Oh, okay. Popo. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. know it. Yeah, I love Popo. You know, it's so good for my stomach. Yeah, I know. It's it's uh, it's good for health, right? But I don't like it at all. And yeah, the I smell remember. is kind of funny. Yeah, the, the smell and the taste is horrible for me. And I remember once that I vomited <laughs> eating a bubble, so. I threw up. I threw up, so, yeah. Oh, really? Eating bubble? Yeah. Well, yeah, if you don't like it, you don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Okay, that was very interesting activity. I was moving from group to group and I realized that you were practicing the vocabulary that's important and you were reporting just now to me. And that's great because we are using the structure. Now we are going to go check a little bit on the manual. We have a conversation for us. We're going to be working on page number 22. We're talking about e-shopping uh, issues. And uh, let me see. Let me see. I got us a uh, conversation right here. Give me just a second that I'm setting everything up. Maybe when this happens. Here we go. Okay, Chris and Ricardo are talking about important considerations to prevent identity theft when shopping online. Read the conversation, practice it with a partner. Okay, guys. And the conversation goes like this. I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve the issue with identity theft. What's that anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete that purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. 
I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent mm -hmm. an email asking what size I used to store my credit card information. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. I repeat. I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve the issue with identity theft. What's that anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete, to complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what size I used to store my credit card information. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Okay, guys. Sorry. Let's see. You're going to be working in pairs. Right now, to practice the conversation, you will have four minutes for you to practice it. Let me just check a little something here. Well, groups are created. Please jump in. Oh my Rebecca. God, I had another group. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Stephanie. Uh, I actually sent you to this group right when I made the, the groups, but I don't know why it took to so, so long for you to come here. Yes. No, I was with Roxana and Amba. <laughs> oh my, but I will go and apologize to them. Uh, uh, if you prefer, uh, you start and continue, Stephanie. Stephanie is not here. Okay, I will start. Okay. I have been reading a lot of, a lot, a lot about identified theft online for the past few days. I've been what size I use to score to store my credit card information. I, I bet. They wanted to steal my personal information. 
toca estarles revisando. Review. Ah, ah <laughs> Yeah, it's it's Maria's it's Maria's influence. <laughs> no, no, no teacher. Teacher. Uh -huh. I like it. Oh, okay. Never mind, Susana. Maria Alejandra, let's do it together. <laughs> okay, teacher. You start. Okay. I have been reading a lot of about identity theft. Identity. Online, identity. Identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist. Financial. Asked, financial. Financial specialist. Specialist. As banks, how they planning to solve the issue with identity. 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 Identity theft was that anyway. Give me just a second. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. Identity theft. Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked, asked me what my password was. I too, it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what size I used to store my credit card information. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Okay, teacher, bye. talking to myself. Before we move on, let me get the attendance second time. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Amber Eliel Faro Gómez. Amber Eliel Faro Gómez. Present. Thank you. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftali Mendez Torres. Che, eh, Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. I'm here. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Sure. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. I'm here too, teacher. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Oxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Wilma and Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Thank you, Susana. Thank you, Frank. Ramon Enrique Mata Escobar. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González. Okay, guys. Just give me a second. Just give me a second, please. I need to send a report about something from class.
Okay. Now let's see who's going to be first. Who's going to be first? Who's going to be first? And first going to be Jacqueline Xiomara and Jose Osmin. Jacqueline, you're going to start. Okay. Okay. And I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how to plan it to solve the issue with identity theft. What's that anyway? Identity theft. Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from internet. So to complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your, this is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves of they're trying to steal that information to get to, get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me, what my password was. I thought it was a strain, but I didn't give them my password. Uh, don't, don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once, once a person sent me an email asking what size I used to, I used to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Rebecca and Stephanie. Rebecca, you start, please. Okay. I have been reading a lot of about identity theft online for the past few, few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve the issue with identity theft. What's that anyway? I think Identify theft. Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking, asking what size I use to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Okay, perfect, very well done. Just remember, you can say identity or you can say identity, okay? Identity or identity. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank Excellent. You. Ada, Susana, and Ramon. Ada, you start. Okay, teacher. I have been reading a lot of about identity thieves online for the past few days. I financial especially asked bank how they plan to solve the issues with identity theft. Was that anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see. You like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete the purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card, card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get your money. I didn't know they could do that. Some recently asked me what the, my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give me my password. Don't ever, don't ever give them your password or any other information. 
once a person sent me an email asking what size I use to store my credit card information. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Okay, perfect. Uh, both of you remember identity, identity. And Ramon, uh, profile, profile. Okay, thank, thank you, you guys. No, thank okay. you. Thank you. Ana Claudia and Nicolas. Nicolas, you'll start. I have been reading a lot about identity. Ident identity, they have online over the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve the, the issue with identi identity theft. What's that anyway? Identity theft or identity thief. Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they called with that. Someone recently asked me what my puzzle was. I took it was strange, but I didn't give them, them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what site I used to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted to steal my steal, teacher is a steal or steal? Steal. Okay. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Okay, let's see. Uh, Nicholas, identity, identity, okay. identity, and Anna Claudia, mm -hmm. theft, 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 like starting with D, no, theft. You put your tongue, your tongue, you put mm -hmm. it. Touching your upper teeth. You blow yes. and you pull your tongue backwards. Theft. Okay. Theft. Okay. Theft. okay. I like got that. It. That's Theft. the sound. Okay. Thank you. To you. Okay. Now, Heidi and Marcos. Marcos, you'll start. Okay. Um, I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. A uh, financial specialist asked banks how they planned to solve the issue with identity theft. What's that anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asked Asking the sites I use to store my credit card information. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Perfect, guys. Thank you. Uh, Eliana and Frank. Frank, you'll start. Okay. Well, I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve the issue with the identity theft. What's that anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see you like to buy, to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. 
and there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what sites I use to store my credit card information. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Okay, perfect. Just give me a second. Um, oh, Frank, recently, recently. Recently. Perfect, recently. thank you. Yeah, that's the one. Francisco and Jose Wilfredo. Francisco, you'll start. I have been reading a lot of about identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked bank how the planet to solve the issue of identity theft. What's this anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet to complete a porch, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to see, uh, steal that information uh, to get to your money. I guess Francisco is on his way to work. Sorry, Francisco, we couldn't hear you, but I'll continue. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what size I use to store my credit card information, I bet they want to steal my personal information. Excellent. Roxana and Ambar. Ambar, you'll start. Okay, give me one second, please. I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve the issue with identity theft, what does anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see. You like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete the butchers, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card, your credit card number. And there are tips out. They're trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email, asking what size I use to uh, store my credit card information. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. They want to, they want to. They want to. Okay. Well, guys, now I told you yesterday we were going to do something a little bit different. Okay. We're going to have a conversation as usual. But now uh, the situation is this. I will set a situation for you and you will start talking with your classmates about that, okay? I just will set the situation, okay? I will start talking and you will make up a conversation with your partner about what I was talking. Okay, well, you know, um, all along our lives, sometimes we take decisions, you know, there are 
good decisions, bad decisions. Some people say that there are not bad decisions, that uh, they are bad if you don't learn out of them or out of their results. And there are different points of view. But uh, there comes a moment, there comes a time in our lives when certain situations, when certain aspects or situations we live or we have to go through made a change. Those situations are the ones that we usually call a turning point in our lives. And some of us perhaps have, have had more than once. And some of us perhaps have had just one. Perhaps in the case of the ones who are here that are young, very young, and you haven't reached a situation like that. But uh, those situations, I mean, they really, really change the way in which you conduct your life, the way you manage, you control your actions, the way in which you think in certain situations. Because sometimes they hit you so bad or so strong, not necessarily bad. Sometimes those situations hit you so strong that they make you like stop, analyze, think, and think about how you behave. Think about what your point of view are towards life in general. Thinking about how you are conducting your life how you are treating other people. Okay, guys, that's a general situation. I need you to talk about it. You need to create a small conversation. What's the best way to do it? Just by talking, okay? So let's see, Heidi. Yeah, teacher. Please start talking with Anna Claudia about what you just heard. Uh, hello, Anna Claudia. Hello, Heidi. Uh, can you talk to me a little bit about the hardest decision you have ever made in your life? Um, the what is, why you decided what you decided? The hardest decision I made in my life? Oh, let's see. Uh, get into a stricted a i cannot stricted diet let's name it in that way in order to get help so i've been trying a lot of times before but this last time it was different and I made the decision not because I want it, it's because my body was yelling to me <laughs> to make a change. Mm -hmm. For me, that was a big challenge because I needed to say no to my favorite fruits, at, at least for a, for a windows time frame, like mangoes or uh, watermelons, I love them. <laughs> For me, it was a hard decision. <laughs> Just a pause, guys. You still keep going, Heidi and Anna Claudia. Frank, get into the conversation, please. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, girls. Hi, Frank. Hey, Frank. Well, were you talking, sir? <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking about hardest decision we made in the past okay yeah i i uh, i've been passing some hard decisions too oh, in really? my life yeah yeah for example uh time that i i decided to move to San Salvador to live for living. So that was a, a really big change for me. And I that makes me mature is corrected. That yeah. makes me mature a lot too quickly. 
So because I uh, I faced yeah. I faced a lot of hard things uh, living alone because I was very young uh, at that time. So it was a little bit hard for me, but at the end, uh, it was very satisfactory too because I I grew I grew a lot and very quickly. Excellent, thank you, Heidi. Why did you turn off your microphone, Heidi? Please, Heidi, include <laughs> one of your classmates, somebody else. <laughs> Mm. How about you, Wilfredo? What's the hardest decision you've ever made? Um, well, guys, uh, well, first take a hardest decision, I consult with my pillow, and then it's really complicated because I have to, I have to process that a decision so in my life maybe was when I married because I know that will be a, a big change uh, that Hello. I don't have to take a, a um, decision just to me if not that I will share my life with another That's person but that's was really was really good. That's hard. You don't that's hard. You don't <laughs> yeah. If I couldn't made it, I regret. Mm. See? What do you what do you think about Jose Wilfredo's uh, situation, Frank? Yeah, of course. I, I think that that is a very big decision in life so congrats for that decision congrats i think that you don't regret at all right about that decision and and i'm happy for you <laughs> to make that decision. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Now, stay here, guys. Stay here. Don't go. Pay attention. Pay attention. I'll be back to you, Maria Alejandra. Hello. We are talking with. Uh, we are talking with Jose Wilfredo. And he's talking about that a big decision for him was getting married. What about you? Do you think that will be a hard decision for you to take? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. I think that is a very hard decision because it is a point in your life when you decided to share your life with other person all the time, all the all the good moments, bad moments, and your bills <laughs> and like this. <laughs> and I don't. I think that is very. It's a a lot of comprom. It's a grand compromise. Big, it's a, a big, big compromise. compromise. A big compromise. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Excellent. Where did you go, Heidi? Oh, there you are. Tell me. What advice would you give, uh, Maria Alejandra? Maria Alejandra, I I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear her. She she says that. Uh, well, she told us. That for her it would be a big decision to to decide to get married because I mean she would need to start thinking about sharing with another person everything in your life I mean your life your your bills she said and um, and uh, it's a big compromise okay what advice would you give her if she ever decides to get married to take her time to make the best decision because it is a decision that you can you're not supposed to regret um and and this person is the one she's going to spend with her for the rest of her life so she must be really sure about taking that decision to to ask her heart 
to ask God and, and, and don't ask anybody else because anybody is going to be married but her. So it's oh, a decision she has to take by her own. On her own, on her own. On her own. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. You know, thank you. Thank you guys. You did pretty well. It was a little bit of a, <laughs> you felt a little bit of pressure, right? But you did pretty well, excellent. Now, let's see, I need a volunteer, a lady volunteer. Thank you, Liana, you are the volunteer. Okay, Liana. <laughs> okay, Liana, you are in the middle of a situation. Just let me check which situation is going to be for you that I have them uh, written. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Remember, this is a, it's just in theory, okay? You know, Liana, um, you've been dating, you know? You've yeah. been dating for a, for a long while. And the person you've been dating is Marcos. Marcos just, Marcos was like, what? <laughs> Marcos just proposed to you. Okay, yeah. Marcos just proposed to you. Now, the problem, Ileana, is that you are not quite sure, okay? I need you to ask advice to some of your friends here in the classroom. Please, proceed. Okay, let's see. Um, hi, Rebecca. Ask. Oh, perfect. Hmm, Rebecca is single again. Yeah? Yeah, I'm thinking. <laughs> Hi, Hi Rebecca. Well, my friend, I want to tell you something. I wanted to share with you this this thing. Uh, my my boyfriend Marcos. We have been dating uh, a long time now, and he proposed me. Can you believe that he proposed me? <laughs> and oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm very excited uh -huh. about that, but I just want to to hear some advice. What do you think, or or what advice can, could you give to me about the situation? Because I'm a little nervous, a little excited, but I don't know. You're my friend, and I just want to know what do you think. Well, as you know, I'm single. But I'm really happy for you. I'm really, really happy. Well, thinking that if you love him, you don't think a lot, a lot. You use um, you use follow your heart and your and your feel, and then uh, you can answer the correct the correct answer. Sorry, you can give him the correct answer as your heart says. I, I can say you says yes, but if you don't feel comfortable saying yes, just ask your heart. <laughs> okay, perfect. You know, right at this moment, mm -hmm. Roxana just appeared. And she's also a common friend of yours. Roxana, please get into the conversation. Okay, no, I'm sorry, girls. I just walking around and I heard that conversation. And to be honest, my point of view for you, can uh, Perdón, Rebecca, quién? Perdón. Liana, Liana. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, my point, my point of view, if is if you are not sure. Uh, maybe the best option is don't get married now, maybe then, because uh, I think that you need to evaluate some things such as good or bad uh, points in the relationship. And maybe if you can um, work in on that and be better, maybe then you, you are sure and 
you will feel that decision. But if you are not sure now, for me, it's not the best option. Maybe it's, um, I don't know, it's a situation and you need to evaluate if you are ready for that or no. You know, because then you need to think in uh, sounds or uh, I don't know, something like that. It's complex because you are living with uh, another person and if you are, if you get married, it's complex in the future thinking in a divorce. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. Uh, Roxana, uh, if you are thinking in the future, about the future, okay? Okay, if you are thinking okay. about the future. Yep. That's the okay. way you should have said it. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, 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 well. Now, how do you like the exercise? Teacher, teacher, wait, yeah. wait. I need to know what Ileana is going to decide. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, Marcos is with his heart on his hand right now. I don't I don't know, Marcos, is that a necklace or, or a rope? <laughs> Marcos is like, no way, Jose, I'm too young. <laughs> no, guys, uh, please let me congratulate you. I know that, uh, well, I wanted to give you the, the, the activity as a, as a little surprise because this is exactly what I wanted to check. How could you perform on a spontaneous situation, okay? That's the idea. I mean, because that happens. I mean, you get you get with your friends, you are passing by, you get like, hi, hello, and they are like, hey, look, we are talking about this. What do you think? What's your opinion? And that's normal. I mean, that happens even between, well, so, some of our friends are sometimes co-workers because those are the people we spend the most time with, right? And that happens on a regular day. So you must be prepared to face situations like that. Now, for the rest of you guys, don't worry. Tomorrow, I will have other topics so everybody can participate, okay? So don't worry, but this is something that we are going to be doing once in a while. I, I'll be giving you different types of topics. You are going to be talking about it and we are going to be including more people, okay? And Right now, the activity, as far as I can tell, was a success. Uh, you're doing pretty well, just little things. And actually, something else that I want you to know is this. I am taking notes uh, related to how you, what's your command of English. So in the one-on-one -on -one sections, I can, I can touch some of those topics and help you out with some aspects or perhaps give you some pointers or if it's necessary because that happens. I mean, sometimes I need to look for info, for extra info so I can help you with one specific aspect of your English, I'll do it. But uh, these activities help me a lot in order to gather that information that I need because it's different if I, if you're doing the activities from the manual, if I just give you a, question, I send you to the group. I mean, it's different because you have more time to start thinking. And sometimes what you do is like in the group, you start thinking slowly, how am I going to say to the teacher when we go back? And in this other type of situation, it's completely different because you need to start thinking fast, reacting to what the other person says, okay? Uh, using the vocabulary you have in order to give a proper response. So don't worry if you have not participated a lot in this class, but from tomorrow on, we are going to be doing this type of exercises a lot, okay? And tomorrow uh, we are going to be talking one of the topics. I'm just gonna tell you one. 
one of the topics we are going to be talking about is about buying a new home, okay? Well, actually I'll tell you the other one because I had another one, which is uh, preparing for a job interview, okay? So tomorrow we are going to be having conversation about these two topics. And tomorrow I will tell you whom of you are going to be participating in that conversation. Perhaps some of the ones who participated today are going to be participating tomorrow. Perhaps I am not going to be talking at all. One of you is going to be the moderator, okay? Like if the conversation goes low, there's going to be one of you like who has to be ready throwing out questions to the rest so the conversation can continue okay because that happens sometimes and one of these days we are going to have one topic that it's a, a job meeting because we are also going to approach situations that you face on a regular basis okay a, a job meeting Okay, or perhaps how to solve a problem in the company. I will ask one or two of you to bring a problem that it's common happens in your company so we can discuss about it. So uh, we are going to be approaching the, the, the use, the command of the vocabulary you have from different contexts. Uh, remember, something that I need you to be clear is this is intermediate. You are in a high in a high intermediate level. These have been intensive courses. So I need you to start speaking more, faster, uh, fluently. Okay. Don't worry if you make a mistake. We are learning. And that's why we are all here together in order to help each other. Okay, so don't feel nervous. It's okay if you make a mistake. I mean, this is the right place for us to fix it. So relax, it's going to be, well, I hope today was fun for the ones who were participating. Uh, I think it's going to be fun, okay? So don't worry, don't worry, it's going to be interesting. Uh, well, we have a doctor here, one of us, uh, I will give you an illness and you are going to make a, an appointment to ask the doctor about something, okay? So it's going to be interesting. We're going to be talking a lot. Now, in order to continue, I still need you to work in pairs, okay? Just give me a little second because we still have a few minutes to spare and I had another activity for you. Okay, if you remember right at the beginning, we were talking about food. We are going to finish talking with the topic we started the class. Now, I got a question for you guys. And the question is as follows. Do you usually have a starter? and a dessert when you eat out? Okay, let's see, Fernando. Hello, Fernando. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, tell me, do you usually have a starter and a dessert when you eat out? Uh, no, I don't, I usually, because it's, if I eat a dessert, I, I lose the angry. <laughs> No, the appetite. And the appetite, right. No, if you eat a starter. A starter. Oh, yeah, a starter, yes. Right. A starter, right. In this case, it's starter. The starter is after. Uh, yep, exactly. Okay, yes. Okay. Yes, but I usually, I don't take. You don't eat nothing. I mean, you go straight to the main dish. Yes. I okay. going to the point. Okay, perfect. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, what about you, oh, Alexander? 
What about you, Jose Smith? Do you usually have a starter and a dessert when you eat out? Not really. Okay, and when you do tell me which is your favorite dessert? Uh, sure. So I can say that is flan. Okay. You like it? Yeah, a lot. Mm, no. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Maria Alejandra. I know Maria Alejandra likes <laughs> Tell me, Maria Alejandra, do you usually have a starter and a dessert when you eat out? Yes, teacher. When I both things? <laughs> okay. <laughs> when my boyfriend say that I go to, to the dinner or like this, I thinking. Uh, why um, my dessert for the tonight or for the night or like this? I prepare my brain. <laughs> okay, and tell me, what do you prepare your brain and your stomach? Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. Tell me, what's your favorite dessert when you go out? I like a lot of our different uh, cake or a piece of cake. Um, uh -huh. I love it. <laughs> okay, excellent. Excellent. Thank you. What about you, Ada? What's your favorite dessert? Hmm. It's rarely, teacher. I only coffee on water. Okay, that's it for you. I doesn't the uh, uh, I hmm, I doesn't take away my hunger my hunger okay perfect thank you nicolas what about you nicolas do you eat dessert do you usually eat dessert when you eat out i'm sorry teacher uh, uh, this moment is i am disconnect for the questions postre postre do you usually have dessert when you eat out uh, what is my favorite? No, uh, do you usually have? Suele comer postre? Uh, no, no. Uh, I know. I not. No. I don't. I don't usually. Uh, okay. And which is your favorite when you have? Semita. Oh, really? That's it for you. Very simple. Very simple. Yeah, of course, is very is is a is a good flavor for me. Uh, the pine the pineapple, uh, the okay. is is very good. Okay, you will hate me then. I don't like something. Teacher, what's okay. wrong with you? You don't like pupusas and you don't like semita. Mm. Something's very wrong, wrong with me. With me. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. Something's really wrong with me. I know, I know. They've been telling me that for years and I, I, I'm starting to think. You're it still too. wondering. <laughs> yeah, I'm still wondering. Sometimes I believe it. Sometimes I say, nah, nah, that's normal. Okay, let's see, let's see. Jacqueline, what about you? Tell me, what's your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert is cheesecake with okay. um, strawberry sauce. Mm, nice. Yeah, delicious. What about you, Heidi? My favorite dessert is creme brulee. I love it, I just love it. What? I could creme brulee. Oh, really? You like mm, it? I love it. I could nice. eat more than one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so it's bad for the diet. That's bad mm -hmm. for the diet. Okay, thank you, Heidi. What about you, Marcos? Do you like dessert? Yes, teacher. Um, when, when I can uh, go out and eat something for dessert, I like to eat cheesecake with coffee. Okay, perfect. What about you, Liana? What's your favorite one? Your microphone. 
sorry, my favorite dessert is cheesecake with strawberry sauce. Okay, excellent, yeah. excellent. Oh my gosh, guys, it's time already. Okay, let me, let me, let me get the, oops, I need to close this. Let me get the attendance one last time. Ah, time flew to time. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alparo Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. Oops, Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Chasmin Montarosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Oh, Nicolás, at the end, please wait for me a second. Hey guys, uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the class as much as I did. And I expect to see you tomorrow. It was nice having you here. Have oh, a good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye, everyone. Oh, congratulations again. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no comments. No comments. <laughs>
different institution for uh, prepare giras, giras. Visits, in this case will be visits. Okay, uh, uh, prepare visits with, with the students, with okay. my students. Oh, no, in this case, what you're talking about is, uh, these field trips from viaje field de trips. campo. Field trips is viajes. Viaje de campo. Viaje de campo. Thank you. Yeah. Field okay. trips. Okay. Yes. Yes. It's correct. It's correct. Okay. Uh, Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Yeah. The exercises that I want you to do is is for you to to improve. I know that. Your listening is very good. You understand a lot. In the speaking, uh, I know that sometimes it's kind of difficult for us. Some of your classmates are in a very good level. Some other of your classmates are a little bit lower. You're in a good level of English, Nicholas. But I need you to start like, uh, I mean, when you speak, you speak. And you speak a lot. You can, you can connect different ideas in English, but what I want you to do is to get, to acquire more vocabulary. The exercises I am sending you are going to help you to get that vocabulary. They're going to be helpful. So you will see the vocabulary in real life context. And that's easier for us to understand. And you, perhaps some situations, you will apply the whole sentence to your real, to your everyday life. And so I would like you to take your time. Look, the extra exercises I am sending you, I need you to dedicate to them five minutes, okay? No more than five minutes. I know that uh, you are a husband, you are a teacher, you are an employee. I mean, you have different roles on, your, on a daily basis. You have a lot of work. So I'm just asking you to, to set apart five minutes a day, tops. Okay, that's going to help you. And I would like you uh, for you to start doing those exercises and perhaps in eight or 10 days, let me know if they are working for you. If not, if they are not working for you, if they are not being that helpful, because you can tell me, look, they are nice, but I don't think they are not for me. I have some different exercises that I can share with you so you can find which one really works for you, which are the most appropriate for you. Do you understand my, what I want you to do? Yes, teacher. Yes, of course. I I I think it's necessary to uh, prepare or understand new uh, new uh, tools, new tools for a yeah. uh, new tool for for understand the the new uh, the new words uh, yeah. is of course I I I I am a very tired because it's necessary practice 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 every day no import no import uh, the time is I I I watch it, uh, the platform or the 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 artists uh, what with a uh, what you uh, me envió, que, que me envió. You sent me. You sent me. Thank you. Okay. Well, that's what I wanted to check with you, Nicolas. Thank you very much for staying. I know it's very late. Have a good night. Rest. Yeah, hey, good night, teacher. Nice to bye meet. Bye. Nice okay, good you. night. Bye.